My name is Petra Coman. I grew up in Romania and I moved in England in September 2018 to pursue my dream as a becoming a PR and just becoming su successful in general. And a few months after, I found out my dad is gonna die from cancer in no time. It was nerve-wracking. I grew up watching this man um, trying to pursue his dream of becoming successful for our family and to raise me and my sister properly. And in the same time, he was the only one who was the head of the family. He was the only one incoming some money. When I found out my dad is becoming sick, my first reaction was like, oh, it's fine. Like, everything happened with a reason. And I didn't realize what happened at that point in time. But after a few weeks, I started to realize that it's about to get real and that things are not going to get better now, they are going to get worse. Um, everybody from my family, like my auntie, my cousins, everybody upset from my mom and my sister, say that I am the man, I need to be the, the head of the family, I need to make sure that everybody is okay, I need to make the most money of my house. And I felt, I felt anxious, I felt like I'm 20 years old, I barely can manage to go to uni. Why should I be the head of the family? Like, why I have this pressure on me, and I didn't like it. But I started to feel empowered by the fact that my parents struggled when I was young, and they provide me everything, so I need to try at least to do something for them. So when my dad became really sick, and the treatment was really expensive, I decided that it's my time to get a job, it's my time to be a grown-up man, to send money back home for my family, because they need to support me living here, and they need to support themselves. So, in December, I started to work 20 hours a week, being a full-time student, and a few months after, I decided to develop a website where I talk about mental health for young people. In the first month, I was always anxious and tired, and I didn't want to hang out with anybody because I feel like I'm too busy, and it was a new lifestyle for me, so I didn't feel like I can do it. Right now, it's been, I think, a year or even more since I started to work and do all the jazz. And it's, it's quite okay. I'm not tired anymore and I party, I study, I work and I have a blog and I feel like life is amazing. I can do it. Talking about this, this problem, it feels relieving. It feels like I'm breathing again because sharing this stuff with the world, it's making me realize that maybe there are other people going through the same thing and we can resolve our problems together if we talk freely about it. And I believe that pain must be shared for people to empathize with you and to understand that you can continue with your life and you can be happy even if one of your parents is not there anymore because at the end of the day, Life is a battle. You need to live your life at the fullest, even if the universe is throwing stones on you. And let's be honest, we are born alone and we die alone. We have people around us during our life, but what really matters is our mental health and how we can make things better for us. So I'm 20 years old and I don't have my dad around me anymore. And if I can do it, I believe that you can do it as well. So you should never stop dreaming and you should never stop thinking that you're the best person.